Okay. So you want to install DOM4 beta on the Epic Games version of RS2. Hello, my name is Adrian. I work on the mod Gameplay Overhaul Mutator. And um, oh, I made a really quick way on how to install the mod. So in the description of the video, you will see a mod DB link, which should lead to a download so I will be uploading that soon and should be very simple so first thing you want to do is uh, find the install folder for your game so for me it's um, it's this folder so rs2v this should be like the epic game store version to install the game simply go to the download folder so it should be whoops should be like this so in the folder there should be a folder called ro game if you drag drop and that's it that's how you, that's how you install the mod so this is Storm 2 on a fresh install on epic games uh, let me just turn that shit off. Okay. So how do we test if it's working? Well, in the text file that I supplied, highlight this, hit Control and C, so you copy. So I'm copied now. Then you go in game. Now you can either hit F3 which does, this opens the console too, but if you want something like, like Counter-Strike, you can go here to Gameplay. Actually, I think it's Player View and HUD. Yes, it is. You turn on um, Enable Developer Console if you want to hit that grave key. So I hit Apply. See? Now you hit Control and V. So that should be the address that should be pasted. And then you hit Enter. So you already know that the mod is loaded because there are new buttons, so there's a change music button and there's a workshop button. You can also check by going to the settings menu and turning on the legacy menu background. This is the ground floor men main menu. You can also change the music. So it's using music from the old RO slash RS series as well as new music from the game and some new music from a new mod I'm working on. There's also a new workshop tab. So the workshop tab, you can choose any map you want to play. Uh, some maps do not have bot support, so they will be teleporting around sometimes. And you will not be able to play through the whole map. So, how do we test the mod in-game? Well, you just hit, um, to choose a map. So I'm gonna choose Hachi Snow. I'm gonna set the difficulty to Hero. Now the reason why there's a set number of bots set to 40, I would put 64, but for engine limitations, I put it to 40 for your sake. But if you want to go past the limit, I'm gonna teach you how, so let's start the game. So Pachi Snow has the ROKMC, a new faction for Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. This is a completely new faction. All right, you'll know it's working already because this is a completely new uh, menu uh, Defending and attacking so we're gonna play as ROK MC. I know a lot of people have not seen this yet, so We're gonna be I'm a grand Yeah, let's be squad. So the second you hit join game It's gonna start loading the bots in. Yeah, my performance is not the best when I'm recording uh, let me just do this really quickly because I don't like a little field of view. Okay. I think we're okay now. Alright. So you already know it's working because clearly it's showing the ROKMC here. Completely new faction. You can hear their voice acting as well. There should be... There are... See, they'll teleport like that because... Uh, there's a nav mesh here that 
they didn't like, so they get teleported back to a valid spawn location. So that's why they're teleporting. If only there was a way they they properly did the AI. So there are also cheats I've added for single player in case you're playing in single player. So here's a list. It should be in the README when you download the mod. So we're we're on my build, the new build, completely new build. It's not ready yet. So you, you'll see some slight differences like this view, Bob, which is completely optional. I'm not going to force you to look at this. And there's also first person tattoos. So that is not in the live build yet. You are going to have to wait for that. So I forgot to add in, how do we get more than 40 bots? Well, simply just type in the console, add bots, and then you put 64. So this is how force bleed works. So you hit force bleed. And boom, look at that. You have a visual indicator to show that you've bandaged. You only carry one bandage, but if you somehow get two, well, it's gonna update the bandage again to be even more dirtier texture. To show that it's a dirty bandage, it's pretty old. And on top of that, uh, there's also a visual indicator in your third person model. So let's shoot this guy in the leg, force him to bleed. So he's gonna start bleeding, and eventually the bot will want to uh, bandage. So he's gonna bandage now. We are taking trouble. So he's good and bandaged now. And he should have a... Let me make them brain dead real quick. So visually, you see on the player, he is bandaged. He has, he has used the bandage. There are also a crap ton of new things that you will find in this new, in this mod. There will be lots of new loot, death animations, guns, all that, uniforms, everything's authentic. They even got name tapes, so that's that's just showing how much detail is going into this. And the helmets come off too when you shoot them in the head. First person shadow, first person legs. If the legs are missing, that's because the tunic doesn't have it yet. I need to add that, but it will, I will eventually get to it. Anyways, uh, that's how you install the mod for Epic Games. Should be pretty simple. I made it as easy as possible. If you still have any questions, please put them in the comments or DM me on Discord. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for showing interest in the mod.